Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, September 19th, 2022. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, right now we have a stationary front well to our north and another front approaching from the west, and that's leading to a southwesterly flow and some mild conditions this morning. Temperatures range from the lower to mid 60s over the far northern interior, mid to upper 60s in your suburbs, and upper 60s to lower 70s sprinkled in and a few other locations, especially in your urban areas, with that southwesterly wind generally in control around 5 to 10 miles per hour. We're seeing a Low increasing cloud cover that will yield a few isolated showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm by the time we get to the later afternoon and evening hours. And that's going to be a theme for the start of the week. But the end of the week, well, that's going to be pretty interesting with a real shot of fall conditions on the way. On our surface map, you can see our station in front to the north. Another cold front approaching from the west. This will pretty much just kind of collapse and become stationary once it reaches our region. And then you can see these showers here and thunderstorms in the Ohio River Valley that will reach us by the time we get to the late afternoon and evening hours, producing a few isolated showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm, but that is pretty much about it. Meanwhile, down in the tropics, things are heating up. We have Hurricane Fiona with winds of 90 miles per hour that is just moving, starting to move over the eastern portions of the Dominican Republic. This hurricane will be lifting north of the Dominican Republic, clipping portions of the eastern Bahamas, and then becoming a major hurricane, but luckily staying well east of our neck of the woods. Fortunately, if you have any friends and family or any plans of heading to Bermuda, well, the end of this week is not looking very pretty for them. With a major hurricane potentially approaching the island, uh, this could be a significant problem, especially with the Category 3 hurricane, uh, at the very least, approaching the region. So, definitely, if you have any plans out there or any friends and family, uh, I would prepare accordingly, okay? So, in the meantime... We take a look at the rest of the region. Take a look at our infrared satellite picture. There, right there, is Hurricane Fiona. Pretty impressive little storm there. Back here is where we are, and you can see our cold front approaching. Stationary front here. This cold front slowing. This feature back here is our next cold front, and this is going to pack quite a punch by the time we get to Thursday. So let's dive through this forecast for today. Watch out for a few isolated showers, possibly an isolated thunderstorm. Temperatures will rise into the upper 70s to lower 80s over the interior and lower to mid 80s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, variable cloud cover, a few isolated showers, low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior, lower to mid 60s along the coast. For tomorrow afternoon, variable cloud cover with an isolated shower threat, look for high temperatures in the lower to mid 70s over the interior, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast. For Wednesday, stationary front hangs around, scattered broken cloud cover, and isolated showers possible. When I say isolated shower, most locations are going to remain dry, but you could get a passing shower, not really looking at any type of heavy downpours out of this anyway. Look for low temperatures on Wednesday in the mid to upper 50s over the interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s over the interior and upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast. On Thursday, here comes our strong cold front. And this cold front is going to be supportive to support uh, showers and thunderstorms. Some of those thunderstorms could be rather strong. Not looking at severe thunderstorms at this time. But again, it's going to support some pretty strong what we call cold air transport. Basically, your temperatures are going to fall behind this cold front. It's also going to be strong enough to take Hurricane Fiona and kick it right out in the Atlantic. A very strong cold front indeed. Look for temperatures on Thursday to range from the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior, lower to mid 60s in the suburbs and mid to upper 60s in your urban areas. High temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the region. On Friday, our cold front clears the coast. Look for clearing skies. You can see 
field are getting kicked right out in the Atlantic. This is going to cause some pretty strong rip tides and some enhanced wave heights and possibly some minor coastal flooding uh, on Friday along the coast. Look for temperatures to range from the mid to upper 40s over the interior and upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior and lower to mid 60s along the coast possibly a few upper 60s in some urban areas on saturday high pressure will be in complete control with clear skies watch out in the morning for low temperatures over the interior ranging from the upper 30s to mid 40s along the coast mid to upper 40s high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 60s over the interior and upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast on Sunday, high pressure starts to exit with scattered cloud cover. Look for low temperatures to range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior and mid to upper 50s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s over the interior and along the coast, upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. And on Monday, another cold front approaches with showers, possibly a few embedded thunderstorms, Look for low temperatures to range from the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast, and lower to mid 60s in your urban areas. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 60s over the interior and upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast. That's your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.